My dear child, understand the complexities of our human nature, our propensity for sin that is ever-present. This inner conflict does not simply disappear. Rather, it ebbs and flows with each decision you make. As you commit to spiritual growth, through prayer, meditation, and adherence to my teachings, the influence of earthly desires lessens. Conversely, when you neglect your spiritual duties and succumb to temptations, these base instincts strengthen. Remember, you are not doomed to be enslaved by sin, a deceptive tale crafted by adversaries to imprison you in despair. You, my beloved, are destined for freedom, virtue, and the embrace of my boundless love. Reject the falsehood that change is beyond your reach. Cling instead to the hope and belief that with my guidance, you are capable of overcoming any obstacle. This daily struggle against sin is fraught with challenges, and yes, there will be times when you falter. But do not let these moments define or deter you. Each time you stumble, turn back to me with a repentant heart. My grace is always at the ready to uplift and renew your spirit. To fortify yourself against weakness, immerse in my word. Let it guide your thoughts, actions, and speech. As you ponder my truths and live them out, you'll gain the strength and wisdom needed to resist temptation and lead a life pleasing to me. Surround yourself with fellow believers for support and accountability. We are meant for community and with others to encourage and uphold you, standing against sin becomes more bearable. The journey toward sanctification is continuous, demanding perseverance and patience. It involves gradual transformation, a commitment to growth despite hardships. During moments of weakness, when temptations feel insurmountable, remember my promises and hold fast to them. Reflect on your identity as a new creation in Christ, liberated from past transgressions. Whenever you fall, resist the urge to linger in guilt or shame. These are the enemy's tools to keep you trapped. Instead, seek my forgiveness with confidence, knowing that my love remains constant and unchanging. As you walk this path of faith, Keep your focus on me. I am the author and perfecter of your faith, committed to fulfilling the good work I began in you. Trust in my love, my grace, and my transformative power within you. You are not alone in this battle. I am always with you, providing the Holy Spirit to counsel, comfort, and empower. Rely on this divine assistance and let it guide you toward the abundant life I have planned for you. This journey might not be easy, but the rewards of spiritual growth and the joy of living in alignment with my will are immeasurable. My child, remember, the age of miracles is not past. I am still active working wonders in your life and turning impossibilities into powerful testimonies of my strength and love. Hold firm to your faith and move courageously toward the promises I have for you, and I will guide you through every challenge and joyously into every blessing. With every dawn, be renewed in your commitment to live out the calling I have placed on your life. Your journey is unique, adorned with specific trials and triumphs designed to mold you into the person I have envisioned. As you navigate each day, embrace both the challenges and the victories as evidence of my active presence in your life. 
As you continue to mature in your faith, cultivate a spirit of humility. True humility is recognizing your dependence on me and valuing others above yourself. It is in humility that you will find the strength to serve and the wisdom to lead. It opens the door for my grace to work through you, impacting the world around you in profound ways. Remain vigilant in guarding your heart against the subtle encroachments of complacency and pride. These are the silent thieves that seek to undermine your spiritual vitality. Stay alert, using the shield of faith to fend off these attacks, ensuring that your spirit remains fervent in love and devotion. Engage actively with the community of believers. Fellowship is vital for spiritual endurance. It fortifies your faith, encourages accountability, and provides support during times of weakness. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. This mutual edification is essential for growth and resilience in your spiritual walk. In your moments of solitude, seek to deepen your relationship with me. These quiet times are sacred, allowing for deeper revelation and intimacy. Here, away from the distractions of the world, you can truly hear my voice and discern my will. Value these moments as precious opportunities to grow closer to me, understanding that true strength is gained in solitude. As you face the uncertainties of life, let your faith be unshakable. Know that I am sovereign over all circumstances. My plans for you are perfect, crafted with infinite wisdom and love. Even when the path is obscured and the future uncertain, trust that I am orchestrating every detail of your life for your ultimate good and my glory. Continue to be a beacon of hope and love in a world that often seems dark and despairing. Through your words and deeds, demonstrate the reality of my kingdom, inviting others to experience the hope and peace that only I can provide. Let your life be a testament to the transformative power of my love, drawing others toward a relationship with me. Always remember that you are a cherished part of my creation designed with purpose and potential. The challenges you face are not to discourage you, but to develop you into a reflection of my character. Each trial is an opportunity to trust more deeply, grow more fully, and love more extravagantly. Finally, know that the journey you are on is leading to a glorious destination. The struggles and triumphs are part of a larger narrative, one that culminates in an eternal celebration of my love and faithfulness. As you walk this path, hold on to the promise that the best is yet to come, and the end of your journey will be better than the beginning. So press on, my beloved child, with faith, hope, and love. The road may be long, but you do not travel it alone. I am with you every step of the way, guiding, providing, and comforting as you journey toward our eternal home together. Continue to walk in faith, knowing that each step you take is divinely guided. The challenges you encounter are not just obstacles, but opportunities to demonstrate the depth of your faith and the strength of your reliance on me. Embrace each trial with courage, understanding that in your weakness, my strength is perfected. As you progress along this spiritual path, be mindful to nourish your soul with the truth of my word. It is the bread of life, sustaining you through every season. Let it dwell in you richly, 
shaping your thoughts, guiding your decisions, and fortifying your spirit against the deceit of the enemy. In your service to others, let love be your guiding principle. Show compassion and grace in the same measure I have shown you. Your actions can be a powerful testimony to my love, breaking down barriers and healing broken spirits. Through your loving service, you can draw others into a closer relationship with me, showing them the way to true life. Remember, too, the importance of prayer. It is the lifeline that connects you directly to me. Through prayer, you express your deepest hopes, fears, and desires. It is a place of surrender, where you can lay down your burdens and receive my peace. Make prayer a constant in your life, a daily practice that centers and empowers you to face whatever lies ahead. As you journey with me, keep your eyes on the eternal perspective. The temporal struggles and pains of this world are fleeting, but what awaits you is a glory that far outweighs them all. Let this hope fuel your perseverance and joy, no matter the circumstances. Encourage one another along the way. Just as you draw strength from the community of believers, offer your strength to others. Encouragement is a gift that keeps giving, capable of lifting weary hearts and strengthening faltering steps. Be generous with your encouragement, as it reflects the hope and reassurance that is found in me. Be also vigilant in maintaining your integrity. In a world where truth often seems fluid, let your word and your life be consistently rooted in my truth. Integrity is the hallmark of a life lived in my presence, evident to all and inspiring trust and confidence in the authenticity of your faith.